Right, I... Oh, hello, 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 howdy, 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 and this is Ryan S. It's Murphy back with another edition, another episode of Jack Off the Legendary Journey, and I think I fixed the problem from last time with the status of it, the passes. The only thing I can think of that went wrong is that when I deployed, if you're familiar with RPG Maker MV at all, it gives you some various options when you deploy the... Pardon me, when you... Kind of, you, you makes a release file for the game, and then I there's another program you use that packages it all up and makes it into a, an exe file, so you can just play the game from that. And you know, when that does some things, it protects the files of the game, which is required for download. You know, the resources I bought and stuff like that. You have to have some sort of encryption, and that's what the packaging it all up into an exe helps do that too. But the only thing I can think of is that when I deployed the actual game files, and before I made it into the XE with the one program, I checked off the don't or it leaps out unused files. The only thing I can think of is that it must have left out something that was actually being used and just thought for some reason that it wasn't. But if you look here, Jack, now on attributes, he has his 15% counter rate, which is where it should be, uh, uh, Titties, I'm not sure it shows her with any extra attributes. Cutie has his 126% pharmacology effect, so that's a healing item rate is what I really should change that to in, fu in the future. Uh, that guy, he should have a high... He has a 23% critical hit rate, currently. Attributes, he has... 12% magic reflect rate, which is nice. And... 125% aggro rate, so... All the passives are now operational. Like they should be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get this uploaded. Uh, after I get done with recording this. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. It's the only thing I did differently between uh, files. I, I should have just used the warp key. Oh well, we're here now. Because I tried it on this, I thought, okay, maybe it was something to do with using old save files, and that messed it up somehow, but I tried with the, the the update 4 file which I started using. I tried that when with a fresh new game it still wasn't working and I tested it in the actual RPG Maker you know, the, did a test game and it was working just fine there. So I went ahead and redeployed and now it's working. So yeah, like I said, the only thing I can think of is that when I hit that exclude unused files or whatever it is it left something out that shouldn't have been. So, everything's working now. messed up the music on this area. I don't think I wanted it to be Ultimate Dystopia. That's the name of the song. Oh well. Oh no, please don't kill me. Who do we have here? Lag. We have lag. Oh no, it's more Amazons. Dreads and Damnations. Amazons are boring. Said no one ever. Maybe. Let's just attack him. Then we can use skill charge. Skills. He has anything different. He's a botkin arrow. Why not? Spells. Let's try an electrocute him. That's always fun. You can guard, because you're probably going to get attacked a lot.
And of course we miss. And it goes after the Google. Somehow attacking everybody but the guy who has the aggro up. <laughs> Fucking games. I swear. <laughs> I mean, come on, you've played games, right? You know what I'm talking about. It always feels like they do. Ouch, my ears. Like, the, it always feels like they do exactly the opposite of what you should do. Haha, uh -huh, you're all like you Got two of them. Three turns, even. Two turns now. That's cool. That's two turns that we can just kind of sit on our laurel. Well, we can't really. Skills. He needs a couple more. No. Tag. Just kind of tag. We'll wait. Spells. Let's see. Anything we really need. Anybody get McDougal healed up a little? That guy. Just attack. Spells. Uh, skills. You can go ahead and use power channeling. And sidekick McNobody, the meat shield. Doesn't really need to. Guard. Only want to be one attacker. That guy got a little bit of. There we go. Smack him in the face. McDougal. I don't hand job McDougal. Hand job thing, I just wanted to give at least one of them kind of a dirty name that was just, you know, other than Jack Hoth. Which is basically the same thing, is kind of giving him a similar dirty name, just a little bit more, more overt, but McDougal. Like McNobody, I just, I don't know, for some reason, adding Mick something. You know, mix something is always kind of funny as a name. Not actual Scottish and names that are, you know, Mac something, but when you just add Mick, like McDougal or McNobody. Actually, Dongle. I should have made it Dongle, not Dougal, because a Dongle is kind of a a thing you use to open or unlock software and shit. Skills we can use. Do you have any more? No. We can just three stab style this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skills. Let's go ahead and use an assault on everybody. Since he now has his thingamabobber, he should get 126 off of that instead of only 100. He needs some more. SP before he can use his precision precision shot. Not that it really seems to help much. But you see, attack uh, double uh, significant magic boost for four turns. He has the SP to basically do whatever the hell we want except for Dragon's Breath. So let's let's just try and take these checks out. Huh. Oh yeah, we got a reckless rush attack and the rest of the reckless assault. That's the new one. So let's go ahead and guard another turn. <laughs> if anybody's left after this turn, of course he goes after her. Stab, stab, stab. It really should be bleeding. Six. Yow! Look 
killed one of them. Yay, 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 yay. All right. There now. Go ahead and heal up today's. Skill wise, she can just go ahead and hit him again if she needs to. Nah, that's not true. We were gonna let somebody else have some fun. Heal today's a little bit more if needed. That guy. We can just guard. We were gonna. We were gonna let him have some fun. Try and finish him off. Reckless assault. Leave McDougal all alone! Ouch. Haha, uh -huh, you're bleeding. There's a plugin that would be kind of cool. Like, if you have your healer target somebody... Yeah, not too bad. But if you have your healer target somebody who doesn't need to be healed, like a plugin that checks their, M their HP level, and if it's full, targets somebody else that has low MP, that, you know, the uh, uh, HP. That would be a cool plugin. I don't know if it's even possible, but that would be a useful plugin. Skills. Probably don't really need to do much of anything here. You're gonna die one way or another. goes up, cutie goes up, and McDougal. Get toasty. Great balls of fire. Get toasty. Da -da, da -da. Oh no, you've killed me, you've killed me. Oh no, what have we done? I just told you, you killed me. Futurama is like one of my favorite shows ever. I don't, I just don't dig drama, it just does no, absolutely nothing for me. I find drama boring and predictable. There's the teddy bear again. What's he up to? What is he up to? Oh yeah, and just in case he couldn't get the sword point, I also made like this burned patch pointing over here. See, I try to make everything really easy to understand without, you know, kind of putting it to you on a sil silver platter, but you still have to pay attention. You know, if you're just trying to burn your way through the game and not paying any at attention to anything, yeah, you're gonna miss shit. I mean, that's true of any game. Oh, but other than that, I tried to make it obvious most of the time. I don't tell you how to tell me what to do, so don't tell me... I don't tell you how to tell me what to do, so don't tell me how to do what you tell me to do. I'll, I'll fuck that. I'll tell you how to... I'll tell you how to do what I tell you to do if I damn well want to do it. My head hurts. <laughs> oh no, it's a Goonka Loonka. Let's try to make it bleed. Goonka Loontas. Attack it. Attack it with fire. Oh no. Just attack, I guess. Spells. Let's make it. Let's. No, we don't want to attack it with wind. Let's throw a big rock at it. I think, it's all, I think everything here, most of the stuff here, is earth element, so. Skills. Not very much damage. 
Leave Cutie alone. We can bleed. Of course not. Oh.
almost 3,000 money. Poon pay. I believe this was the area with armor. Crescent Moon is still sitting around. We found the piece of the Trifarce. Oh well. No big deal. Armor, that's what we need. Alright. Half plate, full plate, damn, that's expensive. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to afford that. Pause this and open up the regular money bags to see what we end up with. Because I need one at least 1600 left over so I can get uh, a couple of water spells. So we have 4,421. So we can still get him, should be able to get him a pretty good bit of armor. We want something full studded leather. not leave us enough, I don't think. Full leather. Of course, we can always full chain mail. Plus 16, that's pretty good. We can also get him a, a shield. So let's go ahead and get him metal shield that gives us so we can still pick him up something else for a thousand. Let's look at the a full helm costs exactly a thousand. Because it decreases MP and magic attack. Alright, so his defense is way the hell up there now. He still has basic armor, but. Do we have anything we can sell? If you want to see what it says, then you can get a copy of the game and see for yourself. As I said the first time around, this is all based on, loosely, very loosely based on a real incident from my own actual life, and it is not something I particularly care to sit through. Go ahead and get great balls of water. Be a good one. Because that one targets random. And also go ahead and get uh, 
trying to get hydromancers to like, and I think that should... Oh, this is kind of funny. Stay on the other side of the counter. And that actually comes into play a little later. So, items... Matter, it'll always give it to him. That's fine. I know. way and get and we can attack the enemies over here near the boss. So see how far that gets us. In the game of chess you can never let your adversary see your pieces. Oh yes, ancient wisdom right there. It's like playing risk. You never show your cards. Yeah, and when you play Yahtzee you never take chances and roll dice. Yes, well as you know, the key to victory is the element of surprise. Surprise! Oh lordy. It's a crazy, creepy looking thingy. Heek! It's a mutoitans. 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 Well, let's attack the mutoitans. Let's attack an Amazon. Good grief, we have absolutely no SP to start with. I hate it when it does that. Attack somebody. Oh, well, at least he does. Let's disenchant everybody's armor. That'll be helpful. Ouch. 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 See? No damage at all. Crap. Serious 
obviously, that's all the damage it's doing. Even with double defense. Jesus. Leave Cutie alone. Leave Cutie alone! Aha. Uh -huh. I would have liked to have seen that do more damage, but okay. Since you have been abused, we're going to let you finish this one. Skills. Get toasty. Hopefully this will take you down. Spells. We're going to go ahead and do a group heal just in case. Item. Oh, we are seriously low on. Why did it not work?
definitely enough to take them down. Archer's calling. I believe that boost is... Damn, two treasure chest keys. Very nice. Oh, we got some stuff. Archer's calling, I believe, improves his agility. It must be hard work. Yep, a really big boost to agility for five turns. Uh, I think we're gonna need to head back to the inn again. I need to buy some more items. But, you know, like I keep saying, I wanted the combat to be on the rougher side. I wanted it to be a challenge. I mean... You can always lose. But you can also always win. Occasionally, you know, like any game will occasionally get to be a dick with you. When there's things like percentage rates, anything that it has to, in a game that involves percentage rates on on whether or not uh, an effect processes or anything like that, it can dick you over. That wasn't a very good one. That's enough to buy some stuff. Those. I don't think I really want to... Yeah, I'll buy a couple of them just in case. We've only got 80 left. I guess I'll buy another one of those. why I don't have you getting tons and tons of money. I wanted to randomize money, so sometimes you might get a lot, sometimes you're not going to. You know, I wanted there to be, to be some differences, some challenges involved here. So there is the boss. We're only a level 21. I said you said you had... If I said you said you had a beautiful body, would you take your pants off and dance around a little? Dev, you have a real bad habit of sticking this sort of stuff on male bad guys. There's something you want to tell us. Like what? It's funny you're that way. Well, I think it's funny. You think everything is funny, especially if it's kinky, perverted, rude, crude, or messed up. That stuff's the most funny. <laughs> Not always, but it can be. It can be really funny. Uh oh, now there's two of these bastards. But they were fire element damage, so let's go ahead and guard. And if she's not going to be able to do much, we can use our skill charge there. Guard. Spells. Let's hit them with some water. And guard. Hopefully they attack me shield.
go ahead and guard again. Um, you're still not gonna be able to do much of anything. Skills. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to accomplish much. Maybe high level skills will at least do a little bit of damage. Guard again. Huh. Guard. Oh, I didn't want Cutie to guard necessarily. That's alright. It's almost like more water. Skills. What do you got out of it? Uh, do we want Cry of Rage or go ahead and hit him with a Reckless Assault? Let's just hit him with a Reckless Assault. doesn't have anything to do with hit. Great. I didn't use any of the plugins to do that sort of stuff. I should have. Uh -huh. Yep. You die. And now you die, Mr. Bond. No level up, huh? Let's see if we can just take the boss out. I'm curious. Save first. We're pretty powerful at this point. I mean, we've got, you know, we've got some stuff going for us. Let's see. He's at level 21. That's probably about four levels too low. But let's see if we can do it anyway. Whoa, that's big. Everyone, I have a grave announcement, so everyone with a bad heart should leave now. So, goodbye. Get your ass back here, pink boy, pink boy. Hey, maybe we don't need to rescue that princess after all. Pretty sure if we stop moving forward as it is, we'll just leave our asses here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he will throw us to the wolves if shit goes wrong. No one, and I mean no one, is going anywhere. Do you get me? <laughs> 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 
Look, I am not getting stuck here. It said, do you get me? Okay, okay, fuck. I guess sidekicks have a choice. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure we're along for the ride. Oh, alright, but as co-star of this production, I am lodging a formal complaint. Noted. Titties. I never said I wasn't up for it, but oh, hell yeah, because Titties316 says I just fucked your ass. <laughs> yeah, I could have done without a Peggy joke, just like Deadpool. <laughs> But I'm tish. Oh boy, big things. Big, big nasty things. And watery nasty things. Well, at least we know those are weak against fire, so. Let's guard. Guard. Skill charge. That guy, guard. Dougal. Uh. Let's see if we can electrocute him. You're gonna guard too. Got our front line and second line of defense is all guarding while our back row gets ready to set some shit up. Haha. Haha. Ouch. Like. Ow! That hurt! <laughs> Ew! Fry him! Fry him! Come on! Fry him! Fry the bastards! Fry the bastards! Come on! Fry him! There you go. And we got two of them. Only one turn of... This... Oh well. Spells. Titties. That guy. Go ahead and guard. Spells. Attempt him to hit, attempted to hit him with us again, so we're going to. <laughs> and you can guard again too. We're just, we're just getting ready. We're trying to build up to one big old schmoz attack here. Trying to wipe the bastards out in one fell swoop. First one swell foop. If you prefer. I believe that's the name of uh, one of the Xanth novels. Swell foop. Something like that. Execution. And it took the electrocution off of them that they had, but didn't give them back anymore. Oh well. So we can't mighties. I don't know what Lurrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
back up heavily up. Alright, so skills. Three step style. I don't know what it would do to you, to the. It wouldn't do much anything to the other guys. I'm not sure what his elemental weakness might be at this point. Spells. Okay, we still have enough for advanced resuscitation. Skills. Rapid fire. Hopefully that'll do something. Spells. Let's try freezing the bastards. And item. You should go last, so let's see if we can heal it titties after she's brought back. Oh, fuck you. What the f- Yeah, right. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. I like it. No bleeding, though. Three hits, no bleeding. He should be bleeding. He should be bleeding like a stuck pig. Why apparently stuck pigs bleed profusely enough for it to be noteworthy, I do not know. But apparently they do. Alright, so we got... Those two are frozen. Near death. <sighs> We're gonna guard with him. No. That's not a good idea. Attack. Burning assault. Kill them all. Spells. No, we don't have enough for a repeal. So we're going to have to try and get you back some MP skills. You still have... Doesn't show what you still have. Doesn't show all the status effects. It's a bit irritating. You should have like one or two turns left of boosted agility. He also has his... Let's just guard with him for now. Spells low on your... take out his little buddies this round. A little bit of damage, still no fucking bleeding. Ouch. Yep. Seriously, that one is not dead. Fucking oh, hell. And watch it just hit the one. Oh, nice. Freezing should kill it. No, he'll probably kill it. There we go. Alright. So, still a little bit of life left in this son of a bitch. Let's hemorrhage. Skills. Firestorm. Probably won't even get a chance to use it, but seriously? Oh, not an FSP, so attack. Skills, let's try a precise shot. Spells, and you are pretty much wiped on your beat. So you're going to just have to use life channeling. Just attack. Probably be able to take him down this turn. Might take him out with this one hit. That's a lot of damage it does. Not enough. fought any enemies at all in this area. I mean, I fought some of them, not all of them. So Titties goes up another level, Cutie does, McDougal, and Sidekick. 
We got a treasure chest key and some money. We found a little bit of money and some beer. We found some more money. And now we go down, 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 down. Down, down, down we go. And we can go right over hall. And look, we found the inn. We found the inn. It's right here. Alright, so we got some more stuff here. Oh, and again, yeah, I mentioned this last time. Take note. He's drinking. And here we can buy armor again, I think, or weapons. Yeah, weapons. We don't have the money at the moment. You can go ahead and go up and heal. I think I'm going to go ahead and do some of this stuff here. But not a lot of it. Found a hundred money and some more beer. We have any more keys? Yep, we got one more. So we can open up this one down here. And four. <laughs> Boy, what a treasure. Oh, that's going to heal up. Oh, well, let's go ahead and get... Uh, do I want to go any further right here at this point? Get a few things in here. Red wine. It's not breathing. Better give it mouth to mouth. <laughs> oh, you gotta love the classic jokes, even if they're very bad jokes. But alrighty. Now I think we'll call it a day. So I mean, we've got a little bit of money now. Enough to go ahead and buy the next key. We don't need level or number three anymore, so we can sell that and get enough to buy the next warp key because we have access to another weapon seller. This area, there, there's quite a bit of stuff around. It just depends on you know what you want to look at. So I'll probably spend a bit more time on this area because I did a little bit of rushing through the last one, but I just I wanted to show you that you don't have to spend forever on each and every area, especially once you start leveling up and getting some momentum and some uh, power on your characters. I mean. You cannot take any of the battles lightly, though. Because, like I said, every single fight you have to take seriously. The bosses are still a lot tougher. But even that one, you saw that uh, it wasn't that bad. It could have been a lot worse. You know, it just depends sometimes on which abilities trigger, who gets hit with what. They, you know, they if they could have gotten lucky and took it out, taken out two or three people in one turn, which was possible, very possible. If I hadn't gotten off those electrocution spells to for crowd control, it could have been a lot worse, a hell of a lot worse, which is why I like to use them. Those spells like that, you know, because McDougal can kind of, it, by the end of the game, he's going to be like your MVP. Everybody sh has a chance to shine, but when it comes to the, the need for crowd control in this game, as you progress further and further, McDougal and his ability to hit with those, uh, the, like the electrocution and the freezing 
Sun spell, and even causing confusion with the Rock spells, the Earth spells, and agility decrease with the Water spells. All of that stuff is excellent crowd control, and it's vital. You know, like being able to reduce their defense, and all of that stuff. It, it can become, be so very, very useful. I mean, to say that anybody isn't important is untrue, so I don't know if any single character really is the MVP. But if I had to pick one, by, in, by the end of the game, it probably would be McDougal, your spellcaster, because, like, you know, the crowd control is just so, so very, very useful. Because he deals quite a bit of damage as, you know, you power him up with some of those, uh, the snack power-ups and some of the items you can find the the accessory type items the artifact you know you power up his magic attack he's going to do considerable damage with all of his spells and the potential crowd control abilities is tops you know a a plus necessary really a uh, meat shield once you get him his armor and spec him out uh, not spec him out, but get him leveled up. He will eat a lot of damage before he finally drops. Uh, one of his upcoming abilities that you'll be able to get, he actually hits twice every time he attacks normally, which actually, you know, gives his regular attacks a bit more oomph behind him. And again, you know, he keeps getting more and more group attack and that's the skills and can just do huge amounts of damage. You know, the Cry of Rage, or what was that skill called? I keep forgetting the names. Yeah, Cry of Rage. You know, which boosts the entire party's attack for five turns. You, you trigger that thing and, you know, that's why there's tactics involved because you don't necessarily just want to keep attacking endlessly. You have, like you saw me doing in those last couple of battles, you need to set shit up. You know, if you can get your Cry of Rage off on him, or with him, <coughs> which will boost the damage of himself, that guy, Cutie, Cutie not so much, because he doesn't do much from regular attacking, but it will boost... Uh, Meat Shield's damage, that guy's damage, Kitty's damage, and Jack's damage. Although Jack's, most of his Jack's damage comes from his luck and agility, he still has some attack. Some, some damage from attack. So it will boost, um, for, you know, what is that, 30 per, or 60 per, no, 4 out of 6, so that would be 2 thirds, call it 2 thirds, of your party. It boosts their damage. Significantly for titties and that guy in Meat Shield. So that's half your party right there. So then on top of that, like with Jack, you can use either Mighty Jack, or once you get it, uh, Luck of the Fryish, which boosts it even better. But either one of those to boost his agility and luck, so he'll do more damage with his skills. And then you can use Archer's Calling, and I believe he also has a second one that boosts his agility even more. Actually, no, because that's already a full boost to his agility. So you get off all of those power-up abilities. You have Cutie Cake using his skill-boosting uh, spell, so they're getting SP rolling over better. You're guarding with them so they take less damage. You're getting all that stuff set up. You know, they're going to be building up enough SP even after using their skills to get off the attack skills you want to use. And you can do a hell of a lot of damage on, like, your third or fourth round. But then that's why McDougal's spells can be so critical. Because if you can get off an electrocution or a freezing spell first round, and even if you only stun or freeze, you know, if you can take just one or two enemies out of the equation, even if it's just for a round or two, that gives you that much extra time to 
get your plan, you know, to get all your skills set up and ready to go while taking less damage, so. It really is about strategy and tactics. You have to use your head playing this game. You cannot just try and bullshit your way through and expect to win. It's not gonna fucking happen. So, that's just the way it is. Go ahead and save it again. And thank you very much for watching. Once more, I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.